protein in there. Lorelei! From the back, it's green. Okay, we're hunting the fields. These fields are big, but there were some house sites out here, so we decided to come out here and give it a try. As you can see, it's pretty big, and uh, I'm using my scope, and I've been picking up a lot of copper and brass relics that uh, indicate that there uh, was a house site around here, right in this uh, area where all these trees were. Now, uh, we haven't see no stones or anything, but there's a lot of poison ivory in there, and I'm not getting in there to check if there is any, but we are finding a few relics out here. Dave did find two coins out here. Dave's used a prospector and uh, I'm using a uh, field scope right here in the uh, state of New Jersey. So we'll get back to you. In case you never saw a colonial rig come out there, that's what it looks like. Yes sir. Good job, man. That's a good job. Hey, that's, pretty, that's pretty big, yeah. That was somebody's wedding band. Yeah. Look at this old house site. It just got a nice buckle here, too. Like, so stuff's starting to come out now. We've been here a little while, and we're starting to produce by these uh, bushes right here. See the end of my antenna. You can see where it's pointing. Let us settle in. Right in that area, right there, kind of like to the, uh, well, not quite to the end, but down maybe about eight or ten feet from the end of it. So I'm going to walk that in with my metal detector and I'll get back with you, get anything good. See my steps, that's where I took my hit with my field scope, came about uh, maybe around 35, 40 foot. Right here's where we're at. I'll let you hear it. And what it is, is a butt. Right there. This is what you're gonna get with field scope. You're gonna, gonna take a look at it. Right there it is. Jersey butt. Best signal of the day. Best signal of the day, and he, he gets a nice buckle as we're leaving the field. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go down here and work this here. We didn't we haven't been out in this part of the field. I got a little hit out here, I'm gonna work. Yeah, we do. Now it's uh, not that we're uh, uh, 
always use our scopes. When we use our scopes, we have Dave, I'd say probably about 80, 85 percent of the time. Others use scopes just to get in an area and use it as a scouting tool before they get in the field, get a few lines, see if there's some action, if there's a whole lot of scope action, then they, they get in and uh, use your detector. Yeah, well, here I'll show you something I just pulled out right now. It's kind of neat. Right there she is. Look at that hole. Detector grid pretty deep for that. Ugh. That's a nice buckle. Take stuff like that all day. Okay. Dave. 1890. There you go, buddy. Good job. Make sure. There you go. Let me get a good shot. Yeah. That's how you do it. Get out here and just search for it. Good job, Dave. Nice shape, One isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice shape. Yes, sir. Good job, Dave. Dave's third coin is uh, about five minutes, and it's a, uh, a large set. Clean it up later. Let's see the back. I'm gonna run my scope in here because Dave's found some coins in here. I just wanna, I just wanna see if I can hit something in here that we know some coins are in here. Could be that joke. Hit too hard. Yeah, too big. Buckle. Ah. <laughs> Holy cow. I got away with these things. Look at a bell. Oh, what that is. Well, I can't say what that is, but I can say this. That's one fancy, fancy piece, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Look it's one fancy piece. I'll have to research that. But I'll take her. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yeah, we're down here in New Jersey in the field. And uh, Dave's decided to do a little scope here. Show you his technique. So Dave works at it, he works the, uh, the signal and he gets into an area, put down a, a TED stake, got his detector. This is where his first stake is at, right there. Back out his detector, works it down the line to a second stake. The second stake is right here, in front of him. Now he's, he's gonna dig everything on that line. Let's see what he gets here. Might be nothing, might just be a piece of copper or cardboard or something like that. He's takes out the target, wants to make sure that he gets the targets out of that area so when he sweeps it again. If he's still hitting, he knows the target's there, maybe be too deep for him to get. Or if he sweeps it again and, and uh, he's picking up, uh, not picking up the target, he's eliminated it. But he's still in the game, as long as he can, 
he could uh, work around that stake and pick up uh, targets to come up with a detector. Uh, Don Ferris, he's still in the game. What's good, buddy? There you go. Let's, I'll go show you. What, I'm going to take this there to show you what Dave got here. This could have been a, a copper coin, it could have been a, a colonial coin, it could have been an Indian head, but anything like that. But he got it. Yeah, there you go. There you go.